Hi guys, MJ Hobby Corner here. Uh, I don't have a lot for you guys today. Uh, today I've been working primarily on painting miniatures and getting warbands ready for uh, the games uh, at the end of this week. And uh, one of those games is Rain and Hell. I'm trying to get the miniatures all painted up so that we can have a nice game of Rain and Hell and try it out. Um, so, uh, I started doing a little bit of terrain. And this is a, a creepy-ass tree that I made. And uh, it's a terrain piece for Rain and Hell. And I want to have a forest of these really creepy looking you know trees uh supposedly as i was reading in the book there are trees with souls fixed in them like souls that are like trapped in them so um i took that idea sorry just messing with the light a bit uh took that idea and decided to make my own creepy ass trees and kind of depict that whole like uh, like there's a soul in there all twisted and and you know tormented and whatever so uh, I'm gonna have a bunch of these many different like shapes and poses and stuff and then make a creepy uh, forest for some of our boards right so so how did I make this um, I use my favorite material which is tinfoil. I use this a lot. I use it for everything, for sculpting. I do a lot of things with tinfoil. And uh, I start with a 20 gauge wire. This is going to be another tree. It's going to have an even more erratic pose. And then there's going to be more heads coming out over here uh, with that same kind of like tortured expression. Okay. And what I do is take my hot glue gun and just put a layer of hot glue where I'm going to be working on and then add my layer of tin foil to that, right? And then I, I cover the entire wire with the tin foil. And once that's all done, and I'm I, I trying to leave it uh, a little bit like skinny and lanky, you know, just um, so that it looks creepy. That's really what I want. I want something really creepy. So, um, so I fill this up with my tin foil, um, and then I take the hot glue gun again and make a layer, just like this, just texture the tin, over the tin foil uh, layer, and you can see that here. And I actually make uh, shapes with it with the hot glue, okay, and uh, that gives it a, like a very rubbery kind of uh, feel to it once you're done, right? But then, once the hot glue is done, I take some earth texture from Vallejo Texture Paste, and I cover with a brush, and I just dip the texture paste all over, okay, to give it extra, um, you know, uh, texture and stuff, but also it provides a nice layer for paint to stick to. Right, and when you do the hot glue, sometimes there are areas that um, become like uh, very smooth blobs of hot glue. So those I go over with the Vallejo texture paste. So once I'm done with all that, and, and that the texture paste is dry, then I spray paint it. I take black spray paint and then brown spray, spray paint over that. And once all that is dry, I do my dry brushing, and I add a little bit of this... Uh, texture uh, stone texture paint this is excellent stuff but it's very expensive so I add just little spurts to give it a little extra uh, texture and that's it and that's it's done now this one is not gonna have a base they're nice and sturdy too uh, this one's not gonna have a base some of them are because I want to make forests out of them but uh, here I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on the table all right, and there's the creepy ass tree perched on the rock. Okay, there it is, and yeah, not too bad, you know. It kind of mixes that uh, that like tree look with, you know, a very vague humanoid shape, uh, you know, tortured shape. So, 
Uh, there are the limbs and everything on the rock. And here's our table, the table we're going to be using. So I'm going to add more of these trees to the table there. You'll see them uh, once we, we play the game. You'll see the others. And I'm going to make them different sizes too. They're not all going to be so big. Um, so there it is. All right. So we're getting ready for rain in hell. All right. And those were... That was my uh, creepy terrain for rain and hell. And um, this, I think, would also go well in a, uh, like, dark fey world. Something where, you know, the fey are just dark and, and creepy like this. Um, it would also be kind of cool, like a dark fey forest or something. With all these creepy looking trees. So, uh, that's it, folks. I'm going to be closing up the studio. It's been absolutely scorching hot today. So, uh, I'm going to, it's time for me to close up and get some rest. Uh, we'll talk soon, guys. And uh, don't miss our games uh, coming up this weekend. Have a good one.